Alright guys, what is going on? We're back and we are going to be doing our predictions for Money in the Bank 2016. So our first match we're going to be talking about, I don't think these are in order so I wouldn't go by the order in this, but we got Breeze Dongo versus The Golden Truth. I say The Golden Truth wins, even though I really want Breeze Dongo or for Breeze to win. Like, to be super honest, these guys are awesome. I've... I was a fan of Johnny Curtis, you know, when he was in NXT, the for one of the first or second seasons. I actually wanted him to win, and he won, and he hasn't done shit since. But uh, I really, honestly, would like Breeze Dongo to win. But Golden Truth, they're probably gonna win it, and I think it'll probably be an okay match. I think it'll be full of comedy more than actual match type. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's probably gonna be on the pre-show. I wouldn't doubt it, but uh, yeah. Should be a good match. Alright guys, sorry for the loud noise in the background. It's hot as hell. So let's get into this next prediction. We've got Charlotte and Dana Brooke versus Natalia and Becky Lynch. To be honest, why are we having this match? I'm so tired of this feud. I don't even like the, the whole new women's revolution. To be honest, I'm one of the people that don't like it. They haven't done nothing for me. They've had a couple of good matches. Like at WrestleMania, that match was phenomenal. But to me, none of this other shit's been any good. The Charlotte and Pay, uh, the Charlotte and uh, Natalia matches have been good, but why add Dana Brooke into this shit? I cannot stand Dana Brooke at all. I say, and it's probably true, Charlotte and Dana Brooke are gonna win. And please bring up Bailey or Nia Jax, or hopefully Sasha is able to wrestle soon, and this whole women's revolution they call will be fixed. I mean, just why are we even having this right now? But uh. Probably gonna be the worst match on the card. Our next match is actually one that I'm really excited for. I think it's gonna be a good feud in the future. We have the new era versus the one era that don't want to leave. Basically, it's Sheamus attacked Apollo Cruz that one time, and they've been going at it. I think uh, Sheamus wins, but I think altogether Apollo Cruz needs to win the whole rivalry. But I think Sheamus wins tonight. But it's going to make Apollo Crews look really good. And what I think is going to happen is I think Sheamus brings somebody in with him. And Apollo Crews brings somebody up from NXT. I think that would be a cool ass feud. Honestly, if you want to do this new era shit, you got to stop saying new era. I, it's the only thing. I just can't. Every time something ha every time Apollo Crews come out, it's the new era. We know. I'm not the only one who gets mad at that. But this match probably will steal the show. I uh, I think it really will. I think it's going to be good. It really is. Alright, next match. I think this is probably going to be in the pre-show. It's the Dudleys versus uh, Lucha Dragons. I don't know how this match came to be. If it was on SmackDown. I didn't watch SmackDown. But, uh... Dudleys. And this match probably ties into the tag team match we have later tonight. Uh, but the Dudleys win here. Hopefully giving them a, bit, a boost to the tag team titles. Probably makes sense. Our next match is for the 800th time. We've got Dolph Ziggler versus Baron Corbin. And Baron Corbin needs to win. So we can get past this feud. And he can go to something else for Christ's sakes. It's been going on for some freaking long ass period of time now. Even though I've liked the matches, just I'm tired of seeing them. What the hell? Now, now that this is happening, everybody's calling Baron Corbin boring Corbin, and sometimes he can get boring, but I think the dude's a pretty good wrestler, and Dolph Ziggler sells the shit out of everything, so this match is still going to be good, but the thing is, why are we seeing it again? Baron Corbin wins, he needs to get over and move into something else, please move him into something else. Dolph Ziggler needs to be moved into something else, maybe the US title picture, Rusev versus Dolph Ziggler next pay-per-view. I'm buying. I'm into that one. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Next match is Titus O'Neil versus Rusev. And I'm glad they're bringing Rusev back to this major run that he's going to have. He's going to blow through Titus O'Neil tonight. There's no way Titus O'Neil wins. And then I think Dolph Ziggler, uh, not Dolph Ziggler, uh, Jack Swagger gets involved in this rivalry. And it's going to be a triple threat. It's going to basically be like U.S. versus Bulgaria or Russia or whatever. But Rusev continues to win. And he does not need to lose. 
because after that major title run, he was just, what was he even doing, basically? But, um, Rusev wins, and I think this match is going to be pretty good. It's going to, Titus O'Neil is going to show why the hell he's still around. I know people like him. I like him too, but just, it's finally in the title picture besides the tag team title picture. And I think that hopefully he has more chances at it, but there's no way he beats Rusev. None at all. Rusev wins this by a mile. It's going to be that big match. Yeah, Rusev wins. Just destroys him. But, uh, next match is the tag team match. And this is why I think the Dudley Boys match ties into this. I see the, uh, I see Big Cass and Enzo winning this matchup. So they could have a feud with the Dudleys. It's because that's what it kind of felt like they were setting up towards. We had this big cast while Enzo was out versus the Dudleys. We had seen them versus the Dudleys. And it always felt like they were going to have a match. Maybe the en Enzo and Cass win here. They go on the face of Dudleys. And the Dudleys put them over. And they boost to the moon. Even though they're already freaking halfway there. They're I love those guys. Those guys are amazing. I like everybody in this match. So it's going to be probably... The it could steal the show, but the Money in the Bank probably is going to be the best match. Uh, yeah, there's no doubt about that at all, but this match is going to be good. Uh, the New Day might actually lose. They're going to lose their title. It's going to be, it's been a while since they lost it. Like, they won it like a year ago probably by now. They've had a great title run. I think they're getting a little teensy bit stale. They're kind of coming up with the worst things to do lately. Uh... The matches are still good. They're still funny as hell. It's just lately, it's been like, oh my god. I've seen enough of these guys. Maybe get in zone cast with those titles, and it's going to be really, really good to see. I could see the club winning too. I really could, but in zone cast have to win this one in my in my thoughts. All right. Man. Ooh. Money in the Bank match. All right, let's be honest. This is my, this is my favorite pay-per-view of the year. Honestly, I'm excited for this match. My favorite thing WWE does every year. To me, this match is going to be... It's going to be better than John Cena AJ. I can honestly guarantee you that. And the person I see walking out of this with the money in the bank is Kevin Owens. I mean, I've heard... A, there's been a lot of rumors that he's going to be on a title run. Try to get a world title run soon. And I think this is the way he does it. He wins the money in the bank. And he waits to cash it in at SummerSlam on whoever has the title. Probably Roman or Seth Rollins. And... Uh, the, or... If Kevin Owens don't win, but my prediction is Kevin Owens. The other person I can see winning this is obviously Dean Ambrose, and it puts him in the rivalry with the whole Shield thing because they've been doing a lot of promos with the Shield. They had him all in the ring Monday night. It makes a lot of sense if Dean Ambrose does win, but I think Kevin Owens wins, and he keeps that briefcase, and it feuds another rivalry, or for me, fuels another rivalry between Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Uh, Cesaro, sorry, he's one of my favorites, but he don't win. Chris Jericho, retire. Alberto De Rio, hopefully they find something else for him to do after this match. But Kevin Owens wins, and this match is going to be fucking insane. And I say, I'm going to throw out a shocking, surprising prediction in my things. Bray Wyatt comes out, and it starts a feud with Cesaro and Bray Wyatt. That is my crazy-ass prediction for the night. Bray Wyatt comes out like he did last year. He's been rumoring a lot of stuff on Twitter that he's coming back. And he comes back and starts a feud with one of these guys in this match. Please don't make it be Dean Ambrose again or Chris Jericho. Make it be Cesaro. What a match. Cesaro versus Bray Wyatt. Please. That would be insane. Oh my gosh, would it ever. Our next matchup is the... One of the other matches that I'm really looking forward to is AJ Styles versus John Cena. And... Sorry, AJ Styles fans. Even though I'm an AJ Styles fan, I got AJ Styles shirt on right now. So, yeah, uh, I give this one to John Cena. John Cena has always been going to be one of my favorites. Fuck the haters, but John Cena is amazing. So is AJ Styles. So that's why I think this matchup is going to be a match of the year candidate for sure. But John Cena wins. And I I hate to say this because AJ really hasn't won that much pay-per-views. And it's going to continue to be that way unless AJ wins here tonight. And they do another match of the next pay-per-view. Why is that happening? We need to get AJ on to different things. Away from these big name guys. And put him up against some people coming up from NXT. Oof, would those be some good matches. But uh, John Cena wins. In a match of the year candidate. I'm not going to lie about that. There's no other way around it. This match is going to be so good. 
I'm gonna be, it's gonna be on the, I'm gonna, it's gonna have me on the edge of my seat, I'm on the edge of my seat the whole night for sure. Alright, so if any of you guys noticed that I just said sheet points for you instead of seat. But, um, our main event, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns wins. And I hate to say this, I think Seth Rollins could win, walk out of this with the, with the, with the title, but it's gotta be at SummerSlam, am I right? You're building towards something here, and you, you make it the title change out one of your bigger pay-per-views in the year, and I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, I think Seth Rollins loses here tonight, but the match is going to be insane. These people are booing Roman Reigns, and they've got to know that the dude's a great wrestler, and, and him versus AJ was a, a great match the last time they had a match. This match is going to be probably the same. This match is going to be really, really good, and Roman's going to walk out the winner. Um, I will be doing the review following the show. I'm not going to be doing the live review this time. Like, after every match, I'm not going to sit there and talk about it. I'm going to wait, and we're going to do it that way. But, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this predictions. Let me know your predictions down in the comments below. Let me know what you think is going to be your favorite match. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment. I am out. Uh, go check out FPSG shortly after this uh, video. Go subscribe to that channel. And uh, there's going to be something up on there that should be pretty funny. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I am out.